Hi friends, Quill here. Welcome back to our casual playthrough of the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC Isle of Armor. If you're enjoying this series just as much as I am, make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the action. Now if you missed the last episode, make sure you go back and watch it. Uh, we took on uh, Avery over here, as well as finding some mushrooms for mustard right over here. Uh, we finished all of the trials and completed the dojo challenge, so we're going to see what this secret uh, set of armor that Mustard has for us. Uh, in case you hadn't, weren't able to tell, rather. Uh, I did change my hair. Uh, the man bun was not doing it for me. And th this, I feel like, is a more tame version of what I've got now. So, you know, you know, keeping, keeping true to my own style. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and talk to Mustard and see what he has to tell us. I know we get, we get like a... a the, the, the hidden armor or something, I think is what it's called, but anyway. Ah, uh, there you are, Quill. Keep this old man waiting, hmm? Yeah, I, I made him wait overnight. It's okay. Since you completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. I wonder, is this like an alternate outfit that we get to put on? Oh. Now then, come out! Ooh! There it is. It's, there's a Kabfu! Aww. Kupfu's not armor. Okay, this is this is nice. I like this. This little showcase they do of him. Oh, ooh, oh. He doesn't know quite what to think of us. <laughs> oh, I love him. Oh, I love little Kupfu. Oh, so he's the secret armor. I like that. Bear. This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Kung Fu. I know, I know. It's tiny, but raise it with diligence and it will become strong enough to see you through any battle. Just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. The problem is it's a bit shy. It doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking, Quill. Maybe if it joins you on your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So take care, good care of Kung Fu, okay? It's in your hands now. I love him. <laughs> Bear him up. I love the little Kung Fu. Look at him. Oh, good. He kept walking in place. You know, that's that's nice. Kung Fu became your Pokemon. I love him. He's frowning, but in my heart, he is smiling. <laughs> uh, if Kung Fu pulls the long white hair on its head, its fighting spirit heightens and the power wells up from the depths of its belly. And Kung Fu is sent to a box. Now then, the first thing uh, for you to do is become the best friends with Kung Fu. You need to build trust. Kung Fu hasn't really had a chance to explore the wild outside of the dojo, so maybe it'll help you become better friends if you... Let it have a look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students standing at good spots, so just keep an eye out. And of course, having battles or camping out together will always help become more friendly towards each other. What else? I know. I hereby grant you permission to keep a Pokemon outside of its Pokeball in the Isle of Armor. Yes! I knew this, that this was a feature, but it's so exciting that we get to have it. You can now let the Pokemon at the head of your team uh, out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together. Go out and take a stroll with your Kung Fu, why don't ya? Once your best buddies, I'll start Kung Fu's training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you think you're ready. So we need to increase its friendship. Which means we just need to run around with it out of its Pokeball, I guess. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get that Kung Fu out of the box, though. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I will go ahead and show off my little Kung Fu friend real quick. I've got him with the Lucky Egg, so he levels up quickly. Um, unfortunately, we got we got a, a modest one, which is probably the worst uh, nature we could get, but that's all right. Uh, let's look at him real real quick. Uh, he's got Inner Focus as his ability, which is a pretty decent one. Uh, Rock Smash, Leer, Endure, and Focus Energy. So obviously, it's gonna take a long time for him to like level up to you know like usable alrighty friends so I am back uh, it was only been a couple seconds for you but for me it has been an entire day um, I went ahead and EV trained our little Kung Fu here um, I could have uh, recorded yesterday but I just kind of didn't feel like it uh, so yes we are level 60 now um, we've got I changed his his uh, 
nature with a uh, mint to make him jolly, which is a little bit better competitively. And then I also taught him the moves. Uh, what did I teach him? Yeah, close combat, Zen Hudbutt, acrobatics, and iron head. And so we are actually going to today is going to be probably a little bit shorter, um, but we are going to go ahead and uh, look at these these exclamation points that that mustard has given us uh, to look at because it's supposed to make us closer with our cub foo which will help it evolve <laughs> alrighty so we're gonna go ahead and get started real quick actually before we do that I'm going to go in and use because close combat only has five PP and we need to have more than that um, where is it yeah yeah, yeah. we're gonna go ahead and use PP up on close combat two three that's, yep, okay, that's as far as it goes. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah, and Kung Fu follows us now, which is so cool. I love it. He doesn't keep up very well, but uh, he, he does follow, so that's nice. And we're actually going to head to the Loop Lagoon first. I think that's that's the closest one, but it's also the one that's furthest from all the others. So we're going to go ahead and, and go to that one first. All right, here we are on the Loop Lagoon. So now I wonder what site there is to see here. We have to find one of Mustard's aids. He's going to help us see whatever it is that Mustard wants us to see over here. Alright, and so it actually looks like we have to come over here on this little island. There's the main island. I thought that Loop Lagoon uh, would take us right there, but in fact, we are right here with one of Mustard's aids. We're going to see what happens. Hi there, Quill. You got to see, you've got to see the view from here. Come on, why don't you and Kung Fu enjoy the scenery together? Yes, indeed, we will do that. And there's Kung Fu. Okay, now I see why why it's over here instead. Of, I thought they might. I'm surprised they didn't take us up on that little rock formation there just to see up, out over. You and Cub are now the best of friends. Master Mustard should be really happy to see uh, how well you get along. So we can probably um, be done at this point because I've trained it a whole bunch. Uh, so it probably has a high friendship with me anyway. But we're going to continue. Why not? Being with your Pokemon makes everyday scene scenery feel brighter and more colorful, don't you think? I do think. All right, like I said, we could probably stop right now. Our Cub Fu likes us just fine, um, but I'm gonna go through all of the places because I figure I might as well. So our next stop is gonna be over here to Brawler's Cave, which should be a really quick trip, uh, but I'll meet you guys there. All right, here we are in the Brawler's Cave, and I'm gonna try to find, oh, right there, right there's Mustard's Aid, so. Hi there, cool plays. You've got to see the view from here. Come on, what do you think of you enjoy the scenery together? Oh, they all say the same thing, okay. Well, you know what? I don't like this one as well, just the cave, you know. But whatever makes Kafu like us, I suppose. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So Kafu loves us. Uh, feel brighter, more comfortable. I think they say all, they all say the same thing. But at any rate, we're gonna continue on. Uh, which is next? I think we can go ahead up here to Challenge Road. That that should be pretty easy to to knock out. All right, that was just a really really quick uh, trip through Brawler Cave, came out on the other side, and Challenger is right here, and there is Mustard's aid. Let's just go ahead and talk to him really quick. Uh, yep, we're going to enjoy the scenery together yet again. They're all going to say the same thing. <laughs> okay, 100% this one is the best one so far. I like I like looking over the, the Isle of Armor. I think that's really cool. Kupfu are the best of friends. Kupfu and I are... We already knew that, though. All right, and there's only one more stop, I believe, and that is at the Pot Bottom Desert. Okay, uh, this one's going to be a little bit of a trek, but we're, we're going to get there. Oh, my goodness. We finally made it to the Training Lowlands. Uh, that forest, that, that forest behind me is always so hard to get through. I know I've been through it several times at this point, uh, but and I know that it was intentionally made to be a puzzle, but I would think that I would know it at this point, but, you know, such, such is life. That's how it goes. So we're going to come right through here, through the warm-up tunnel. Remember, this is where we found our mushrooms. Shoot. All right, and right on the other side of the warm-up tunnel is uh, Mustard's Aid, who we're going to talk to. And we're going to enjoy the scenery with our Kubfu one last time. Wow. Okay. That one's kind of boring. <laughs> All right. So the question of the day is obviously going to be which of which of the sites that we saw was your favorite? Uh, for me, it's definitely that third one. I like looking over the Isle of Armor. I thought that was really cool. 
So yeah, let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite scenery that we saw today? So we're just going to go ahead and fly back down to the dojo. Talk to Mustard and see what he has to say. Alright, so we are best friends with our Cub Fu now. What? What's this? What's this? <clears throat> what's this? What's this? Let's see how you and Cub Fu are getting along. I forgot his voice there for a second. It's alright. Good, good. You two are just the best of friends now, aren't you? Cub Fu's really become more confident. How wonderful. I dare say I think you're both ready. Follow me, you two. And now we're just going to follow Mustard. I love... Cub Fu is... They picked a good Pokemon for the Isle of Armor. I think Cub Fu is just the right amount of fierce, but they're just the right amount of, uh, cute. You know, you know. Dum dum dee dee la la la. Whew, I guess this is a good spot, as good a spot as any. Now then, Quill, and Cub Fu, if you want to become stronger, there are special training grounds just for Cub Fu. Prepare yourselves for the Tower of Two Fists. And for those of you who don't know, this is how we decide how Cub Fu evolves. The blue tower is the Tower of Waters. And the red tower is the Tower of Darkness. Choose wisely since you'll, choose wisely since you'll only be able to climb one of the two towers. Cub Fu's fighting style will change depending on the tower you choose. And the, type it gets, and the types it gets will change as well. Think carefully. Each tower is five stories tall, and each floor has a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you level up Cub Fu properly before you're trying to climb up. You can reach both of the towers by heading through the forest to focus. You might even be able to find a shortcut if you can ride your bike across the river. Um, I'm really looking forward to when the two of you will make the top of one of those towers. It's going to be so exciting! And then he just kind of walks away. So you know what, that's alright. So there we are with our little Cub Fu who's really excited to start his training. Um, which we are going to leave for next episode because I honestly have gone back and forth so much on which of the two Cub Fu forms I would like to, to find for myself. Um, I might uh, level up Cub Fu a little bit more in between episodes, um, but I definitely don't want to go into one tower or the other yet, which is also something I want you guys to comment down below and let me know. Uh, which which version of Cub, shoot, Cub Fu should I uh, get, or Urshifu rather, because he'll be evolved. So there's the water type Urshifu and the dark type Urshifu that uh, we can pick from. So comment down below, let me know which one you want me to pick. Um, shorter episode today because, well, it, the story is just in a weird place right now and also I'm kind of busy, so. <laughs> um, that will do it for, the, for today though, so thanks so much for watching and as always, see you next time.